And we're going to begin tonight with historic flooding in the Midwest. In Nebraska, it is the worst in 50 years. At least three people have died, two in Nebraska, one in Iowa. More than 4,500 people have been evacuated so far from their homes in Nebraska, Iowa, and Wisconsin. Hundreds of homes and businesses are damaged or destroyed. Watches and warnings are posted in a dozen states, and more rain is on the way. Tonight, DeMarco Morgan is just outside Omaha in Crescent City, Iowa. Strange levees gave way across the Midwest, inundating hundreds of homes with walls of water. Thousands were forced to evacuate. They're telling everybody, just grab what you can and get out. 50-year-old James Wilkie died trying to rescue stranded motorists. 80-year-old Betty Hamernick was killed as floodwaters filled her home. And 55-year-old Aleodo Rojas Delon was found submerged. This area right here behind me would normally be farmland, but as you can see right now, it is filled with fast-moving floodwaters. Water that was so strong at one point, it washed out part of this bridge. 100 flood-related road closures left entire towns cut off. We are trapped, we can't get in or out of Fremont, and so planes are flying in supplies from all over, uh, little Learjets and Cessnas. We took one of those Cessnas from Council Bluffs to Fremont, Nebraska. The town of just over 26,000 is now an island. On the ground, we found Sydney Gaff flying back to Omaha to get to work and school. I think it's good to like see the community come together, um, bringing supplies in from Omaha and other towns. It's, everyone's helping out. We drove across a closed bridge into Iowa and the Missouri River, which I am standing in right now, is expected to crest Thursday in St. Joseph. More than a dozen rivers are now in major flood stage. Jeff? Well, all right, DeMarco, thank you very much.